So I'm starting out with primer. I am using the Tarte Clean Slate Primer for my face. And then I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Gobi. This is my fair shade because I had no self tanner on so it's very pale. And I'm using a Real Techniques Diamond Blender Sponge to put that on my skin. Then I did prime my eyes using the Tarte Clean Slate Eye Primer but that cut out so I'm going straight onto the eyeshadows. So I'm just using the two pale shades from the palette just to set my eyelids in place and then I'm going in with this warm tone brown shade and I'm starting to buff this into the crease using a Sigma E40 brush and as you can see I'm sort of buffing it all over the place and just being pretty messy with it because I'm making it very smoked out. Then I'm taking the lighter shade once again and just using this on my brow bone and sort of just above the crease just to stop it from looking messy. And then I'm taking the even warmer toned brown shade and I am using a Sigma E25 brush which is a bit more precise and I'm just buffing this in the outer corner and through the crease. So just like building up my colours and yeah, starting from the lightest and building up to the darkest. Then I'm taking this brown shade at the top of the palette and I'm using the same brush and I'm just applying this a little bit more precisely into the outer V and then buffing it through the crease. I'm just really layering all these colours and smoking them out. Then I'm taking the same brown shade and I'm just starting to buff this into the inner corner. Um, this is when I decided I wanted it to be super smoky. And then just going back in with that warm toned brownie shade and doing the same thing, buffing it into the inner corners and then blending it all through the crease. And then I'm just taking the original E40 brush I used and buffing all of the edges. Then I'm taking the black shade. It does have sparkles through it but it kind of doesn't show up on the eyes. But I'm just using this on a pencil brush and starting to smudge it over the lash line and then build it up into the outer corner and through the crease. And then just taking the E25 brush again and making sure that that black shade is nice and blended and smoky looking. Then I'm just building up a little bit more of the pigment in the outer corner. When you blend the colour away it tends to blend the shade out so I'm just doing the exact same thing I did before. Then I'm taking this shimmery warm toned like caramelly brown shade and I'm just using my finger to apply this all over my lid. Um, it is a beautiful warm toned shade, I really like this. And then just using the E25 brush once again to buff the edges. And then I'm just repeating the same step with the black and just adding a little bit more along the lash line and the outer corner. Then I'm taking the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner and I'm using this in my tight line. So just applying it all up in, under in that waterline. And then I'm using it along the top lash line just really closely to the lashes just to make them look thicker and when I apply the falsies the band will blend in a little bit more. So I applied that and then used a Sigma smudgy brush. I will have what number it is listed down below and I'm just smudging that out. Then I'm using my eyelash curlers and giving my lashes a curl and applying some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is one of my favourite mascaras at the moment. I am loving it. it. makes my lashes look so long and vol voluminous. And then I'm just using these Socialized Glamorous Lashes. Then moving on to the face, I am concealing underneath my eyes and the centre of my face using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So I'm applying it and then blending it out with the pointy end of the diamond sponge. Then I'm using the RCMA No Colour Powder to bake underneath my eyes and down the centre of my face. So I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and then applying a sort of hefty amount to the centre of my face. And then I'm just blending it all away using a Sigma powder brush. And then to bronze and sort of contour my cheekbones, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Bronzer. 
This is one of my favorite bronzers, so I'm applying it underneath my cheekbones and then around my hairline. And since I was really pale, I decided to bring it down onto my neck. So um, I just brought it wherever you could see my skin and where I was pale, just to give myself a bit more of a bronzy look. Then for blush, I'm using the Balm's Hot Mama blush, I believe this one is. And I'm just applying it to my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks kind of thing. And then to highlight my face, I'm using the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlight in Kitten. So I'm using the sponge to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow, my nose, my chin, all of those kinds of areas. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm first taking that transition-y brown shade I used in the beginning and I'm just buffing this right underneath the lower lash line using my E25 brush. Then taking the warmer tone brown mixed with the cooler tone brown and I'm just doing the exact same thing basically, just buffing this right underneath the lower lash line. And then taking the E40 brush just to make sure everything was really smoked out and just seamless looking. And then I took the black on the pencil brush again and just sort of joined this up in the outer corner to the upper lid and brought it about three quarters the way in. And then I took the shade Luscious, I think this one's called, and I just highlighted my inner corners using this shade. And then I took the Man Eater eyeliner once again and lined my waterline to give it more of a smoky look. And then I just took the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner in black just to hide the lash band. And then for lips, I took the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Addiction, which is one of my favorite nude shades. So I just completely outlined my lips and then filled them in using the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Siesta. And then I finished off the look just applying some mascara to my lower lash line and that completed it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!